Actually, before that, even, oh, we want to do that. We asked we've the... said a lot of stuff, and we've kind of showed little bits and pieces of it, kind of like teased it. This UI over. Oh, so we're gonna walk through the UI. I think we are going to go live to the game now, live. right? Live. This is. And I'm gonna take my live. I'm gonna take my controller in hand. Randy, you do your own stunts, right? This is live. Awesome. All right, so you guys get first a good look at kind of a cleaned up main menu. There's mm -hmm. a few subtle differences here. Mostly you can see now that we have uh, we have a lot of buttons here with the different ways you play. Versus public versus private still there. Story public, story private, of course. Operations mm -hmm. with new operations. You saw that there, public and private. Here is the training uh, yes. the training mode that I've talked about. You click that uh, that button there. I think we're connected to a server here. I'm going to click this and see what happens. <laughs> just going to click uh, and see what happens. <laughs> you guys are seeing, yeah. Oh, there you go. There's your your solo your dojo training and your first incursion mm -hmm. uh, tutorial solo since we've never played it on this. It's so, solo first. That's right there. Now uh, you also notice down here at the bottom we've cleaned up a few menu options just to try to get a few buttons off this main menu. I know it's a lot of choices for you guys. We really wanted to do that. One of the big things I want to call it, so you still have your friends list there, you still have your match history there. We've meshed together options, extras, and it, of course you on consoles know that everybody's taking away the quit button, so you just, <laughs> I think you're just supposed to walk away and, and, and let the console die of its own natural causes now. But <laughs> options and extras have been combined together in one menu. The big thing I wanted to point out for you guys here, uh, because I know you guys like our shift codes when we give them, so that's where you get the stuff. Now to, uh, to redeem a shift code, you go into options and extras, Click on extras and your shift code menu, your shift menu is still down there. Yep. So still there, all of the stuff, the credits, the, the achievements, all your stuff is still there on the extras menu like it was before. We just put it into the options menu so we, we take one, one little step out of the main menu and clean it up a little bit. Yeah, a lot of folks in the chat are concerned that you are going to uh, mess with uh, GBX Menace's gear uh, throughout the course of this stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm basically gonna sell it all. Uh, he's. Yeah. He's. He doesn't need it anyway. Nah. Um, we've we've done a little bit of change. You'll notice that that now on uh, we, there's some some things like your your default uh, icon that comes from the platform, your your Steam icon, your Xbox icon. We moved that away because we actually like the in-game Battleborn icons, and we mm -hmm. wanted those to lead out. So you still have the icon and title there. Uh, of course, you'll see the command rank here. The command rank comes and goes based on what we have set up for, for individual cues. But let's mm -hmm. walk through the command menu because mm -hmm. you're going to continue to see, again, we've cleaned up a lot of things. The menus have been, have been redone. Uh, we've cleaned up the background. We've brought the characters in a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Still some of the same layout on many of the screens, but we've, uh, you know, we've, really, we've really gone in here and we've, um, we, we've cleaned it up and we've looked at a lot of different characters. Yeah. So you see a lot of characters you get up, and, up, up close and personal with. Mm -hmm and really get a good view over there as we kind of go around and look at them. So, I don't know, let's go into a, a character, yeah, a character should, here and take a look at the changes uh, yeah. with, within that. Yeah, we should pick uh, who to show off. What do you, what do you, what do you think we, we should do here? Should we do... Uh, it might be good. You know what, I love, I love Atticus. Yeah, Atticus, yeah, yeah. Atticus, Atticus is great. Atticus is great. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, Atticus yeah. is great. He's got the new medieval skin going, so... So here's Atticus, and you see we, we, we've made some major changes to all the windows here. So information window, we really cleaned it up and moved some things around. Again, the character's more prominent. All the skills and abilities now lined up on the right side, a, nice. a little bit easier to, a little bit better formatted, easier to that. You still can see your progress on mastery if you guys are going for lore challenges or, or rank up and all of that. Uh, just just nice, and, uh, nice and clean and easy to look at there. Uh, Helix is, is basically Ooh. the same as you've seen before. It just looks a little bit cleaner now. It's been reskinned. Uh, appearance tab we showed you before as we looked in. Um, uh, we looked with that, but now you can uh, you can scroll up and down. You can get all your taunts. Uh, you can go over here and you can you know apply your favorite skin right here. There's Lord of the Pit. Let's see what's my favorite Attica skin. Uh, in fact, I think here. Is this? Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. This is one of the new champion skins that we have. Uh, black and glowing Atticus here. Uh, black, and you see when he uses his abilities, he's gonna gl glow there. So I love that. That's uh, cool. I'll go ahead and use the new. So there's one of the there's the the previous nice. mastery skin that we had on there, <laughs> and then I love that you can go right here and you can show some uh, some cool taunts that come up with there as he uh, he goes there. So all combined into one cool one cool <laughs> scene screen, and uh, of course as you guys have a. Uh, as you guys have, uh, as you guys have seen before, uh, you can still, if you want to buy a, a skin or a taunt right through here, it's still connected to the marketplace, and you mm -hmm. still have the ability to do that. So. Oh, they love that skin. They really like the black skin. Yeah, they, they the, really black, the black skins are, are really cool. Yeah. I may show one or two more uh, as a surprise <laughs> later on if we do that. Uh, so there's there's lore. Lore is basically the same. Stats. We we've, we've done a lot of work. Grant, you want to do? You, are you familiar with? You want to walk through any of the changes in the stats oh, yeah. here? 
Yeah, we, we wanted to highlight some of the PvP stuff. I mean, we, we've kind of slowly uh, migrated to a, a more PvP-centric uh, stats page to show the capture, incursion, meltdown stuff at the top, uh, the, the new mode, face-off, and an upcoming mode, supercharged. Um, so we, we're showing all the PvP stuff at the top, and then we have the story stuff right below it. Yeah. Um, and that's just to kind of highlight your <laughs> player empowerment, highlight all the stuff that you've done, uh, not only in the, in the campaign side, but also in the PvP side. And we've also added in some best stats here. Uh, we still have the uh, we, we still have the other kind of gameplay specific uh, um, uh, battle marks that you can get there, but some other bests. Uh, and we we've kind of moved to this. So again, the good way to still take a look at how you're doing for a character and what's going on with that character. Uh, we also still have career stats. We'll look at it in a second. But the character stats are here. Just reworked. I think a much better presentation and a much clearer yeah. for what we're trying to do. All right, uh, gear page. Um, so again, a, a reskin of the gear page. We've done some things just to make it a little bit cleaner. You notice that we've done some work on the gear icons. The gear icons are now a little bit cleaner. We That's think like nice. easier to read on the colors. Oh, yeah. The the um, the gear uh, card on the bottom is also cleaned up a little bit easier to read. So you're but but generally the same functions here still on your are your loadouts uh, loadouts and uh, um, uh, your gear bank. Uh, one of the other things that we did though is we we, yeah. we have we've done some work with the packs. Uh, added just again a little bit of pizzazz with those. We now have uh, these. So Sean has given me some cool legendary packs to open. Uh, he has some bank space, so I'm going to go ahead and open those. So a neat new. Open and immediately delete. <laughs> uh, immediately. 3D icon there, and nice. ooh, let's see. Ooh, him's or sparkle shield. I'll just go ahead and, and I'll sell the rest. <laughs> 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 Sean doesn't need any of. I don't know what that epic was. He doesn't need it. All right, get rid of that. While we're on the gear page, I do want to also mention out there's been a lot of updates to gear. Mm. Uh, and we're yeah. not going to have, have time to get into right. um, all the minutiae of it, but the patch notes will contain all the notes. Uh, a lot of legendary gear got a lot of love. A lot of stats that were originally underpowered got a lot of love. Um, so be sure to hang around. To yes. keep, keep the legendary mm -hmm. gears. They'll be updated. Uh, and when we talk about the new gear pack, we'll talk about hunting for new gear. Um, but yes, a lot of the legendaries got a lot of love from not only the the story ones, but also the cam uh, the PvP earned ones and yep. the general legendary pools. They are loving this in the chat, by the way, especially that new gear opening animation. Got so, it. so that's really cool. Let me walk you through a little, just a little bit more. Take a look at these other screens in the interface there to show you what's going on. If I can remember how to do that. So here's again. Your, your career page, very similar to what we did in the characters. Uh, it just consolidates all it a little bit better. You have your favorite characters there. Uh, and it now is a big scrolling list, operations, and again, then the best off stats at the bottom. Uh, challenges, same as it was before. Again, again, just a color reskin and all that, but it's still a familiar challenge interface there. And uh, titles, uh, an interface here. We've added a, a lot of new titles to the game. Uh, I'm gonna, especially around character rank ups, I'll talk about that in just a second. But uh, a title interface still about the same, uh, and uh, then the marketplace over here also has uh, also has a reskin, uh, and I don't know what's going on there, but let's see. Uh, but different things here. Don't I, actually I'm not sure what I'm supposed to show here. We may have some 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 stuff in testing there, so I, yeah, I, I'm not going to scroll through there blindly and all that. You you saw nothing there in the marketplace skin. <laughs> Uh, but the marketplace again, like everything else, a good rescan. Again, cleaned it up, made everything clear. Hopefully, a lot easier to see and a lot easier to navigate through the menus. It's a cool thing.